back again here with turn five of Greenland. And here we go. We're going to turn the card over, see what we got to deal with this time. So we can't do any marine. Oh man, I just smacked my lips again. Sorry. We can't do any marine uh, hunting, right? So apparently the sea ice is coming back, right? Little aged sea ice is having uh, heavy sea ice interrupts the arrival of migratory sea mammals in the supply ships. We're also going to have a decimation if you do not have um, a chief, and we also have another issue of global cooling. Man, the Norse can't catch a break. I was going to promote a guy to become a chief this turn to avoid this very uh, awful thing, but it's going to happen again. So we lose half our guys and an elder if we have it. We have two, four, six, seven, eight guys. We lose four. That's pretty awful. Norse are just getting hit really hard. That's unfortunate. Uh, everybody else has a chiefs. So they're okay. And then we have global cooling once again. So the bird cliffs. We're going to move over here, and the little awk will transfer over to the cool side as well. So we're going to slide these guys down again. And what will happen is, eventually, most of your cards, if not all of them, will have end up on the cool side. If you draw enough of those cool, um, enough event cards with a cool event on them, right? And the last one. And what will happen is everything will start moving from here to here, including the new world cards, and they'll go there. And then if you have everything on the cold side, then you start getting rid of things that are like the furthest away. They just go away. And then it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller until there's like nothing left really to hunt on. So you can see here if we kind of look at the tableau in the middle here. Northern side's not looking good. Northern people need to be either having a sled or a mariner, and they have neither for both these people. So I think it's going to be time to start focusing on that. Man, the uh, Thule are in like a bad place, just like the Norse now, with only four guys. Really, the uh, Tunit are actually looking pretty good. Lots of energy to spare. They got this nice hammer to help themselves out. And they're still doing really well by holding on to that colony in Markland. It has really given them the advantage uh, so far in the game. Uh, again, no auctionable item here, but Yellow gets to go first. If they want to, and they do have a war chief, so they can decide if they want to go first. You know, the truth is, is they just don't, <laughs> I think they do want to go first. They do actually have some energy. They just don't have a lot of guys, but man, they need a Mariner really bad. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to elect to go first. They can, um, they need to kind of arrive in mass somewhere and the Norse are going to be kind of hurting. So I don't think they're going to be able to do what they want to do normally. Oh, it was so unfortunate that we didn't get that marriage off. That would have been very, very nice here because I would have actually made this very easy. But of course, getting the, um, Banishment role here earlier was really key for those guys man really the tuna just kind of coming out on top in a lot of different ways Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna have them go first <clears throat> The green goes and then tuna goes second and then Norse will go third So we'll go ahead and start here and the first thing we'll do is we'll spend an energy And we will promote one of our precious few hunters <laughs> to a mariner There and uh, that's gonna help probably should also get a sage because it does help in our, our attempts here to go to Vinland, which we might even just try to go for. Because I think that might be, I don't know, we'll get to look at the board real quick, but... Ugh, do I want to spend two and then just have three rolls? <clears throat> and the reason is I think I'm just going to go for this thing, although I can't, damn. Because of the no maritime hunting. So I can't even go take on the Hooded Seal, which is a really great card to go after. Hmm. Rough. And then all those guys are the cold side, and I don't have a tracker, do I? I don't have, wait, oh, they don't have a tracker. Oh, I do. So I could go to the cold side if I wanted to and hunt. That's actually, a, that could be really good for me. Do I want to try to go up here and take on the polar bear or the musk ox and try to get some, just much needed population. I need as much population as I can really afford to get. Or since I have a mariner, I can also just go somewhere in the south and bring just my four cubes, right? That's all I have. I could go after one of those that don't hurt me, but don't really give me much of a benefit the muskox wouldn't give me already. Can't hunt that guy. I could go, I don't need the bog iron really. And I could go for that. That guy's pretty good actually. That's actually really good to get both an energy and a baby. But I kind of need more than just one guy. And I'm really kind of afraid if I just go that one space, the Tunit, who do not have a Mariner, which they probably will get one, I'm guessing. But 
for now, we have to assume that they just don't have the ability to move, so they could easily contest that spot. Is that really the best way to go? Because I already have uh, four energy, a fair amount. Is it worth trying to go after that? I do need to start thinking points because, of course, now the Norse, which may be hurting if they still survive, they have you know some good points right now. I only have three. The Tunin have, or, I mean, the Tool have three, and the Tunin have three. I have all these points, I guess, technically. I could go for the caribou and grab that sled, which is really tempting too. Very hard to do. I'd have to roll triples. Which means I probably would not want to like have my guy and then, oh man, that would be tough. And then the automatic success, I kind of need it. So I probably wouldn't be able to domesticate him. He's probably going to be pretty tough. Just like it's going to be really tough to get that guy. Um... I'd rather have this one if I can get anything possible to domesticate, to be quite honest. And this guy's just like a good deal overall. That sucks. I don't want to give him up, and I don't want to slip my forces. I just don't have the ability to do that. So I need to go after something I know is a sure thing that I can actually hunt. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to take our four guys, and we're actually going to take our mariner, and we're going to head down to the barren ground caribou there. And just try to get that, because... Although, honestly, I could go to those guys, and they're a trophy for doubles, which is much more likely. And gives me two guys, although this domestication would be the greatest, but I just don't think that's very possible. So I think we'll just do that. We're going to go for the bird clips and try to get some points. Okay, green is up. What will the tunit do? They actually have some good forces. They need to start promoting some guys, but then they need to also think about energy, which they can get from Markland. I don't even know why I'm saying that's a question at all. They should think about getting literacy. That is something they should definitely think about. And since yellow has assigned all of its cubes out, I think maybe turn about is fair play and we will send some guys to do that. So what we'll do is we'll probably take one guy for free. We're going to upgrade them to... Oh, holy hell, we're going to need a tracker pretty soon. If we don't... And our mariners can die pretty easily. Trackers less so. Hmm... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to wait on that tracker. We're going to go for the Mariner there because it's going to let me transport guys. I could start moving guys out of Markland if I wanted to. Or I can just attack there. I shouldn't make that weird noise on camera. That's something you should just only do in private and when no one is around because that is a noise just for me. Okay. What am I going to do here? I've got some options now. I can actually move. This is actually still a really good deal and I probably should just take that. Oh yeah, I'm going to raid. Say my raid. And we don't need to assign the alpha to it, but we will take three people because you just you kind of need it to happen. And we need to go for someone who has literacy, which is Papili. So yeah, we're going to go for her. She also lets us win all auction ties, which is very nice. That would also help to have that ability. But really, the plus one literacy is something we need to actually have. That would be nice. Just in case our artisan goes away, we don't have the ability to have that. And... Um, well, is that really worth it? I mean, I don't even have any cards I need to take into my hand. I don't need to domesticate anything. Actually, I'm rethinking that entire strategy. I don't need to get a card right now. Usually you would want to, but I think I'm okay with that, with not having that card. Instead, I think what I'm going to do is take my three guys. Ugh. Let's... Let's defend some people. You know what we're going to do? Well, no, that's not even really worth it either. They may try to raid again, though, and get that. Not yet, so we're not going to do that either. Thinking a little too much on camera about what I need to do. They're going to try to go for points, it looks like. Yellow is. So I can't really let that happen either. Maybe it'd be worth it for me to go after the polar bear. I do have a lot of forces. I could probably take it on if I get victory. Oh, I don't have a tracker. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Instead of that mariner, we're going to upgrade the tracker. Said that guy. So we can actually hunt on that biome and not worry about it. So we'll do that. Take all of our guys, and we're going to go after the polar bear, and hopefully we can score that polar bear and get that triples. It's going to be tough, but I think we can still get a victory and get an ivory out of it too, which would be helpful, and two people. I do kind of just want to get this ring seal, though. If I don't take the alpha over here, then I'd have to roll two of those. That's not so easy. Do I have any modifiers on attacking? No, not for land hunting, I don't. That's tough because I get a lot of rerolls on the ring seals. Like when you see, I get uh, four rerolls. Um, I get three rerolls. 
Nope, I'm going to dedicate all my resources to that. I really want to get that ring seal. That might be kind of stupid, but I think I'm going to just try to go for that because um, I don't need a ton of energy, so energy is not important for me. That's stupid. Why am I trying to go for ring seal? I can't pick that up as a trophy. That is such bad thinking. I'm, energy dependence is not something to tune and have to worry about. All right, or dependence, I guess I should say. Okay, so they'll go there. That leaves our friends the very minute north, although they do have uh, Norse. They do have the settlement goat, which very much helps. Still have the sled. They can go after the, no, they can't go after the hood seal because it's totally off off limits. They could go for the ring seal with their sled, which would be kind of nice for them because they kind of need energy. They always need energy. They're always on the hunt. Um. Oh goodness, though, but they really do need to put a chief in. Oh, this is the worst. So here's what we're gonna have to do. Very awful. We're gonna spend an energy. We're gonna promote Ant Hunter up to whatever we call this guy. I don't even have a name for him. I guess it's just a representative of the thing. He's one of our, he's our rep. He's straight up our rep, dog. Uh, so that doesn't leave us with very much at all. But since we go last, we do have some nice strategic advantages. So what I think I will do is I'll take the alpha, using our fat sled powers. I will go up there, and that'll be an automatic success, which is really kind of big. I don't have a tracker, so getting any of these is extremely low chances. I don't have a mariner, so I can't go there over there. Is there anything I should be spending those other two guys on? I guess we can try to get that. We can go for, no, we can't. I keep forgetting we can't do that. I'm like, why, why am I not going for the most obvious easy one? Well, I guess the thing is if we're going to do it, then we're going to go after something maybe we can get. I don't know. I guess we'll just go for the harp seal pup and see if anything happens. There's no negative to it, really. We just would have to roll two ones because we don't have an alpha or a tracker. So, yay. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do. So, yellow went first. They're going to have to resolve. Let's go ahead and resolve their Vinland attack because they're still there. They still have the most iron. They have four pieces compared to reds, too. So, they're going to attack first. Two dice. No. Red retaliates. And they get one. So, yeah, slowly but surely, this is becoming now... No longer plausible for them. So yeah, that's gonna happen there, and they are not gonna attempt that, obviously. The bird cliffs, we're gonna see if we got that. We just need to roll three dice, and we're looking for one success and doubles, right? Ooh, or should I roll four? No, I gotta I gotta get this, so I gotta get the one. Okay, I got the one success. Phew, that was close. And that means we get two guys get to come back to us, which is huge because we just lost another one in the colonies. So there's that guy. We have two more. So not amazing, but we're slowly but surely coming back. Okay. Nice. So that was yellow's turns. So now we're going to go to green. Let's see. What was green going to do? Oh, yeah, they're going for the polar bear. Uh, just to be sure, though, we're going to try to go here for the Markland roll. We're going to get, what, five dice? Looks like threes and sixes kill us, of course. Oh, boy. Three deaths. No successes. That was awful. The colony suffered devastation. Oh, we've been getting lucky with that, I guess. That's probably the whole point, right? Getting a little too lucky. And we only needed one success. One success, and you get access to that. Not a single success. Although, wait. Wait a minute. All of our threes become ones. Guess what, kids? We got a success. And we got one guy back. I totally forgot about the imported hammer. Yes. That's why the import. That's why we got that thing. That's why we got it. All right. So that guy comes back. And even better, we replenish the loss because we did get it one success because that three automatically becomes a one. That means we also get our four energy back. So we're just going to replenish the one energy we could. <laughs> because we've just been staying at a nice surplus of energy the entire game here. Okay, going to the polar bear attack. We have one, two, three, four, five, and the auto hit. We hit, we get hurt on twos and threes, so we got five dice, and we are looking to hopefully to maybe even grab this for a trophy. So we're not gonna be able to get it for a trophy, but we did get the necessary hits, successes. We get hit one on twos and threes. So we have one, two hits, two hits, we don't have any ability to negate, like land hunting is where you really have to get like technology. I don't think anybody has any bonuses. You really need to find technology to actually help you out on those rolls. So we do lose two guys. So essentially that's, the cost is negated because we're gonna actually get two. So I'll just keep them there. 
But we do get an ivory out of it. So that's not terrible. You would have liked to have at least gotten one extra guy because we did lose. Well, no, actually we won though on uh, Mark Wonder Forgot thanks to our sweet, sweet imported hammer. Okay, so they did successful. Let's go to red. Red is, see, now that they're monotheistic, they're less interested in having Vinland become peaceful again, even though that would be good for them in the long term, because they get points off this ivory. Not much, but one point. So, and ivory's hard to come by. So now they're kind of less interested in doing that right now. That's unfortunate for them, but they're just going to do that. Let's go ahead and see if we get this pup here. <laughs> Let's see if we get the two ones we need. That would be pretty ridiculous and extremely, extremely low odds. Not even close, so we don't get that. And we get the auto success up here with the ringed seal. We got the nice auto success. So we're gonna get a red guy. And we're gonna get an energy token, which is probably the most important thing we could have gotten out of that. Oh uh, man, that's kind of unfortunate because Vindland is one of the only sources of energy. Although hopefully next turn we can start uh, getting that hooded seal. I feel like that might become a very highly contested uh, biome. Okay, so that auto succeeded. He comes back. These two come back. Okay, so that's the end of that round. We take a look now, we have to feed animals. Of course, we have not added an animal that requires food at all in this game, but we do have the nice settlement goat, which is helping us out. See, that's why it was that earlier choice to only have the one that requires no energy really paid off here, because I could not get any energy in my southern biomes. If somehow you got a lot of energy in your southern biomes, I think that would be, then you'd be like, oh, I did it, because it's a much better benefit, but uh, that's not bad at all. Oh, wait, look. I forgot, I have three rerolls. I did forget about that, didn't I? Technically, I could have rerolled that because I did roll a six and a three. The polar bear, I know I succeeded. I'm fairly sure I had a three that killed me and I totally messed up that rule. It's one of those things you gotta always stay on top of, always. And even though I just said that, didn't I say, oh, you gotta have tech, but I forgot the actually the L counts to help you out on that. So that was me being, being very silly. I also forgot that I have a sweet ability to turn fours into ones on metallurgy, so that may be worth turning Vinland back to the peaceful side. Ugh. And you can do that, it says right there, what, in phase five, and then it's going to be this domestic animals phase. Oh, worth it. There's no other real ivory on the board except for that polar bear. And we don't have a tracker, we have, or whatever, it lets us do that, which is going to be uh, the Viking chief. We don't have a Viking chief now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to have to say no for now. I think hopefully next turn I'll be able to hunt that hooded seal, and that should help us out a little bit. Maybe also raid that uh, ring seal again if they get all like crazy with the red and yellow, or yellow and green. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, they got that. Are we going to do any elder actions? We still can't build that card because our sage is still uh, not around, so we have nothing to do there. There's nobody really to witch burn, nothing to domesticate for either player, so I don't see any actions actually being taken. Okay, so that's the end of the fifth turn here. I'm gonna take a look at the board here. Getting colder, much colder in the north, in fact, so this is gonna look increasingly bleak for the tool and the tunit. The Norse, even though, have some hard times, but hopefully this uh, arrival, I think this hooded seal, that's a really uh, nice boon there. If we take a look, tunit's still doing relatively well and healthy, really healthy and energy. Uh, the tool, they have nice iron count here, and that might actually almost motivate them to go for a monotheistic victory if they can't start scooping trophies the next round. I don't know. And then, of course, the Norse are kind of holding on just barely. Oh, wait, did I get them their cube? No, I don't think I did get them there. Wait, did they get their guy? Hmm. I don't remember if I did that on camera or not, if I gave them a guy for their goat. I'm going to do it now, and I'll look back at the video, and if I messed up, that's that's a really easy fix, so... If you saw this on video, you'll probably scream at the camera, but guess what? I can't hear you, and um, so yeah, I'll just look and see if I messed that up. But I think that I didn't give it to them. It's really helpful. They need that very badly. <laughs> okay, when we come back, we'll start with turn six. So we're going to be in the second half of the game. So far, if we look at victory point totals, the Norse have, what is it, uh, 246. Um, the um, Tool have three with their Walrus Trophy. Walrus, walrus Trophy. And the Tunit also have three with their Narwhal trophy. So those early trophies that were kind of uh, hurting them in terms of biomes, keeping them in the game right now. Okay, when we come back, it'll be turn six.